stranded in St. Louis. A Southwest Airlines passenger who wasn't even supposed to land here gets left here because of the message on his shirt. But did he bring it all on himself? New at 10, Fox News' George Sells is live at Lambert Airport with the question of free speech versus vulgar language. George? Yeah, Rafer, the young man was on a flight from Dallas to Chicago that landed here because of bad weather in the Windy City. But he apparently forgot a couple of lessons from kindergarten. Lessons about bad words and playing well with others. <laughs> Daniel Podolsky spent the afternoon in Lambert Airport looking for a ride. He was kicked off his flight because of the T-shirt under his jacket. He shot video of the confrontation. Did they talk to you about your shirt? They did. <laughs> this is the shirt, advertising a Comedy Central show called Broad City. The shirt says Broad Effing City, a handout at the South by Southwest Festival Podolsky had just attended. He says he was spoken to about it during the delay, then... It was only when I got back on the plane when it was going to take off that, uh, you know, it's you have this much space, you're going to take your jacket off, it's hot, uh, so that I took my uh, jacket off. And uh, so he sent someone to remove me from the flight. So. Did they give you any opportunity to put your jacket back on, to yeah, it, change the shirt, to put it inside out? It just happened so fast, you know. Uh, within 30 seconds, the flight was already gone. Uh, so, you know, I would have gladly done so. That's what he told us, but his own video tells a different story. Can you change your shirt? Oh. You put the jacket on and keep, leave it on for the flight? Can you t put the shirt on inside out? Nope. Is there anything you can do to not display the shirt? Well, then, at this point, we gotta, can't allow you to go. Uh, I've freaking a speech. That answer didn't fly with the crew, and neither did he. Well, well and away they went, leaving him and the T-shirt here in St. Louis still insisting he did nothing wrong. Now, Podolsky insists to us that Southwest's priorities were out of order, making his shirt such an issue. In a statement, however, Southwest stood behind the actions of its crew, saying, quote, we rely on our employees and customers to use common sense and good judgment. Now, tonight, Podolsky was allowed on another Southwest flight. He was allowed to board and leave after he changed his shirt. We're live at Lambert, George Sells, Fox 2 News. New heat.